Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke today. We're at Luke chapter 17 today, verses 11 through 14. We're going to take two days on these 10 lepers because there's so much for us here. Let's just read it. Now what happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Then as he entered a certain village, there met him 10 men who were lepers who stood afar off, and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. Now there's a lot in this parable here. We're going to get more, as I say, tomorrow morning. But right here, the lepers meet him. They ask him for help and healing. He immediately responds. And it, then it tells us this, this really, this is a very important piece here for the Christian walk. One of the most important you'll see. It says that as they went, they were cleansed. As they went. As they went. A lot of times we expect, you know, that, that God's just going to, if we just stand in a place, that, that God's blessing will sort of be upon us. If we just stand still and he'll just throw a blessing. But you know what? He wants us to be active Christians. And so, and so here he tells them, this is what you do. Okay, you, 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 you want mercy? I'm going to give you the mercy. But here's what you do. Go to the priests. And so as they went, as they were acting on the faith that they had, small amount of faith that they had, it was enough. And they're acting on it. They're on their way now to uh, to the, but they didn't, mess, maybe in the when they took the first step, maybe they didn't feel all healed, but they're on their way. And guess what? As they're going, it tells us what happened. As they're going, they're cleansed. And it's as we live out the Christian life, as we act upon it, as, act, as we find out what God's will is and step out in faith and do it. And we might not even see across to the other side, but as we do that, God will show us and God will act and God will transform us while we're in the action of obeying him. Does that make sense? And so a beautiful, beautiful lesson here. We can apply it throughout our Christian experience. And I think it's very true. I've certainly found it to be uh, very simplifying, very illuminating. When God tells you to do something, when in, in his word, you've studied and you find something and you're not doing it. You find out what that is, and what do you do? You may not completely understand it. Hey, who completely understands everything? But you, 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 you understand that he wants you to do it. And so then what? Then you need to step out and do it. And maybe you won't understand all the details, but you be obedient, and the blessing of God will be upon you. So let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for these 10 lepers who approached Jesus. They asked for mercy. And when Jesus instructed them, they were way ahead of most of us today, Many times we stand around and we really just sort of expect we're just going to, you're just going to drop stuff on us. But these people, as they were told and instructed, go do this, they went to do it. And as they went, they were, they were, they were transformed. So now, Lord, help us. Whenever you give us a command, help us to understand it sufficiently to start. Help us to go forward with that thing and begin to do it. And Lord, I know you'll transform our hearts as we do it. Bless us, we pray. Help us to be active Christians, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, we're asking for this blessing today. Amen. So, friend, when you find out from, the, from God's Word something you're supposed to do, you don't have to understand it. You don't have to wait till you can do a PhD dissertation on it. All you need to do is understand the basic piece and begin to do it and watch and see if God's blessings don't rain down for you from that. Hey, God, God be with you today.